Something truly unique and unexpected happened when a baby was born with a head full of silver hair. It was certainly a shocking and jaw-dropping moment, and when the doctors learned the reason, they screamed. You heard that correctly. A little baby named Benz, who was born in Hungary, was brought into this world sporting stunning silver locks. This is totally an unusual thing. In fact, the boy was even born with pale skin too. It was a striking but beautiful look, but before we delve any further into the story and discover more about Benz, the amazing silver-haired baby, let's take a deeper dive into the world of hair color. The average age of people's hair starting to change color and develop those distinctive grays is shockingly 32. That might seem like a quite a young age, but the truth is that in our early 30s, you will start to show real signs of aging. That's just a fact of life. If you're looking for when you develop a full head of white hair, then you can expect that to happen around late 50s or early 60s. So we're sure you can see why Ben's having several locks was so incredible. But wait, the facts don't stop there. Only around 30% of newborn babies actually have hair. That percentage steadily rises the earlier a child actually arrives, but strangely enough, most babies will lose their hair within the first few months of being brought into the world. They then grow back new and permanent hair that stays with them for the rest of their life. So the fact that Benz defied all of these odds is truly a staggering thing indeed, and we can see why doctors were so shocked by his appearance. The birth was a worrying time for both Benz's mother and all of the doctors and medical staff as they were all unaware of the boy's condition, but what mattered most was that Benz was happy and healthy. No mother could ask for more than that. As long as there were no medical issues affecting the child, then the color of the hair was the very least of their concerns. Luckily for Benz, everything about the birth went swimmingly. He was a healthy size and a healthy weight, coming in at a slightly above average 12 pounds. This didn't concern the doctors, though, as he was still comfortably within the healthy range. Benz was the perfect baby, and doctors were more than happy with his health and his early progress. He was meeting all of his milestones and thriving. The only issue was the length and color of his hair. It truly was a strange and mystifying thing. Why was it silver? What had caused such a strange and rare thing to happen? It wasn't just the color, though. Yes, the color was the most eye-catching thing about his hair, but the amount of it was also fairly astonishing. It was thick and long, and actually pretty impressive. Usually, you wouldn't expect a child to develop hair that thick and long until a year or two after they were born. But there Benz was, fresh out of the womb with some of the most amazing hair that his mother or the medical staff had ever seen. In fact, it could even be combed and styled. The boy was perfectly okay in pretty much every respect. One of the doctors told the local news outlet. Yes, he had his silvery white hair and was very pale, even for a child of his age. But there seemed to be nothing medically wrong with him. It was a strange juxtaposition of what our medical tests were telling us and what we were seeing. Doctors decided to run some tests and do some checks. If there was anything wrong, they'd be able to identify it soon. In the meantime, the fact that some babies every so often come out of the womb with some startling heads of hair comforted Benz's mother. Some are born with extremely long and thick locks that look like they've been growing it for years. Some have curls and waves to die for. So her son coming out with a head full of silvery white hair wasn't something completely extraordinary. Still, it was a long and tense wait for the test results to come back, and when they did, Doctors were shocked. As they waited, doctors kept a close eye on the young boy. They knew that with babies, appearances could be deceiving, and that at any moment something terrible could go wrong that would endanger the child's life. But as the days passed, the boy carried on well, going from strength to strength. In fact, team members at the hospital nicknamed Benz Prince Charming because of his happy temperament and his flowing silvery white hair. He was always happy and cooing, said one of the nurses who was looking after Benz. In fact, I barely even remember him ever crying. 
He had this little cheeky smile on his face that made me and the other members of the staff couldn't resist. And don't get us started on that gorgeous hair. Luckily, his mom was fantastic. To say that Benz was her first child, she took to it like a duck to water. The day came when the test results came back though. Much to everyone's dismay, it turned out that Benz was indeed suffering from the condition called albinism. That completely explained his silver hair as well as his pale and pasty skin. His body was not producing the pigment to give it any color. His mother was finally able to put herself completely at ease. But there was one more twist that would leave the medical staff extra baffled and even screaming in shock and confusion. And the reason why will leave you as confused as they were. You see, albinism is something that is genetic. 1 in 20,000 people suffer from it. It is passed on through the mother and father. It is a recessive gene though and may lie dormant for many generations until it finally resurfaces and suddenly, seemingly out of the blue, an albino baby just like Benz is born. So doctors decided they would conduct tests both on Benz's parents looking for that recessive gene. If it was there, they would see it. But all this begs the question, is albinism dangerous and can it harm someone? Well, in short, the answer is no. Sure, because of their pale skin, albinos have to be a little more careful in the sun. In fact, sunburn is one of the most common issues that albinos suffer with. But with proper care and attention, someone suffering from albinism can live a long, happy, healthy and normal life. The test was conducted on Benz's parents and several days later the results came back. And much to everyone's surprise, the albinism gene was not present in either of them. The tests were done again just to check that the results were correct, but they just confirmed the initial results. No albino gene. There was no way it was passed on to the little baby boy through them. Doctors were absolutely flawed by the results and it made massive ripples in the medical community. What the medical community couldn't understand was how the albino gene had appeared in Benz. It wasn't present in the parents and the odds of it suddenly just happening for no reason at all were absolutely astronomical. But on the other hand, Benz was perfectly healthy and, well, the doctors were happy for him to go home, grow up as any normal child would. He really was a miracle child with a condition that could not be explained. It just goes to show that little miracles do happen in everyday life. Speaking about our boy several years after his birth, Benz's mother said, He's just a normal cheeky little lad. Sure, we kept a close eye on him for the first few years of his life, but there was really nothing wrong with him. I was a new parent, so naturally I was overprotective, but I had nothing to worry about. His silvery white hair kept growing, but now it turned more of a pale blonde. But it's still as beautiful as the day he was born. So now it's over to you. What did you think of this hair-raising story? How would you have reacted if your child came out with beautiful silver hair? Would you have been concerned or would you have embraced a different way that they looked? As always, we love to hear from you, so be sure to let us know your thoughts and opinions in the comments section down below.